We're 100 days away from the start of Rugby World Cup 2021. What does this tournament you know, mean for you? I think having the opportunity to have the World Cup at home, we're going to be able to show the world, show New Zealand, show Aotearoa how amazing women rugby players are. And I think in 100 days for the first match against New Zealand versus Australia, it's going to be an amazing effort. Talk to us about you know, growing the women's game here in New Zealand. Like, what does it mean for the game to be played here in New Zealand? For me personally, my biggest aspiration is for me to inspire the next children of women's rugby. And you know, we're going to have girls, little boys seeing us play. It's going to be incredible. Hopefully inspire them to know that rugby is a pathway. It's a career for them. It's going to be awesome. Just hearing you talk about that brings back so many memories for me as a five-year-old when the inaugural Rugby World Cup in 1987, yes, that's how old I am, and just the <laughs> memories here at Eden Park, at Michael Jones scoring a, a try in the final, David Kirk holding the William Webb Ellis Trophy above his head. There are just so many historical moments, and I haven't even talked about 2011 yet, <laughs> which uh, I was lucky enough to play here in New Zealand and, and I understood how important that was to really unite and, and bring our, our country together so I'm just so happy that you're able to have the, the same experience of New Zealand being able to host another World Cup. Yeah I think my own experience of the 2011 World Cup was just being in the crowd. You know you look around and there's black everywhere with little spurts of other colours. You feel that mana that comes with the black jersey, that comes with playing at home. It's something I'm really looking forward to kind of feeling within this Rugby World Cup. Eden Park, right behind us. Is it a special stadium? For me personally, it was my first game against England in the New Zealand jersey. 2013, I had all of Ngāpuhi behind me. The biggest stand, biggest group of people I've had at a, at a tournament for me. And it was unreal. And I know for the girls all around the country, Eden Park, it's the home of rugby in New Zealand. So it's something we always aspire to kind of play at. It's something we're really excited for. Oh, seriously, the people of New Zealand love coming to Eden Park to support our national teams. Obviously, there's a lot of competition in the women's game at the moment. Uh, is there any teams you're looking out for, um, you know, only 100 days out from, from the tournament? I think, you know, with the way the game is going so far, you've got the Northern Hemisphere teams having their Six Nations every year. We've got the Americans, Canada, USA doing really good stuff over there. It's going to be an awesome competition. You know, our first game is going to be unreal. I know for us in 2017 against Wales was an incredible first game. I know there was nerves, there was excitement, so I think for us as New Zealand, it's going to be incredible. It gives me goosebumps just, just thinking about it, and I know my children are counting down the days till the World Cup, so I just want to wish you all the best, obviously rooting for you girls uh, to, to be there in the final, so all those dreams can come true. It's going to be an awesome, awesome journey, and we've got a lot of work to go through in, in the meantime.